Hey everybody, welcome back to OCD Hi-Fi Guy. It's your host, Mikey the Squirrel, and uh, I... Tonight, what we're gonna do, we're gonna listen to a couple of these things. Okay, so I'm going to be, over the next couple of weeks, vetting fully with you guys. I'm gonna get to the bottom of the server thing. I'm gonna get to the bottom of the server thing. I'm gonna get to the bottom of the linear power supply thing, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of the audio file switch thing because I see it's, you know, it's all over the place and I can't make heads or tails of it. It seems like it's all, like a lot of it's BS to me, to be quite frank, because it's computer stuff. But, you know, hey, I don't know everything. I know it's hard to believe, but I don't. And so we're going to do this together and we're going to find out where the rubber hits the road. What is BS? Where we draw the line? That whole thing. So um, what we're going to do right now is just the e uh, an easy and quick way, or so it, it would seem, um, we're going to play a, a song bit, a, you know, a little song here, and then I'm going to go back and pull the, the switch out and put replace the switch with an audio file switch. And that's all I'm going to change. I'm not going to change any of the cables, anything. I'm just going to do the switch only. And the switch is going to be powered by the same way that the other switch was, which is, I think it's a wall wart, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be a wall wart. And then the next step we'll do is we'll put the power supply to the switch and see how it is, you know, changing from a wall wart to a highfalutin, you know, linear power supply, low noise, you know, yada, yada thing. So, um, okay, so here we go. Song number one. Okay, so there we are with that song, and now we are going to, I'm going to grab this, this right here, which is the audio file switch. This is made by, I don't even know how I'm going to say it, Fidelizer, right? Yeah, Fidelity. It's like Fidelity, but Fidelizer, because I don't want to say Fiddleizer. Because that just doesn't sound right. I don't like it. I don't like the word fiddle. You know, something about fiddle. Well, you know what? A fiddle is like a, a, a violin. That's cool. Chucky Daniels plays one. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's a fiddling fool. Okay. Here we are. And now we put in the fiddleizer, uh, the, the, um, the switch. This is the audiophile switch. We're going to see what it's like with no switch in the line. Now we put one in line. And it's about like uh, a couple feet of Ethernet cable after the switch. I think that's immediately apparent. That's crazy. Wasn't yeah. it? Totally. Immediately apparent. It definitely works. Um, that was quieter for sure. And did Black you hear? And blacks. Yeah. yeah, and that little that, that yep. little yep. fine stuff yep. that came in in the very beginning. That's crazy. Okay, so when you're listening to this back, listen to the little symbol that starts out with the, in the very beginning. There's a little symbol kind of tick, tick, tick thing. That was way more clear that I didn't really notice on, on last time around. It's totally quieter. Her Behind her and the, the ambient stuff is, is quieter. And this that's is, with this the is cool. Wallart, right? This is what the wall We haven't even tried the linear power supply. We'll do that in a second. Here, let's go back though.
Okay, that was cool. So, okay, so that that thing works. Definitely, and I think it does make it, improves it too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not only does it work, but it improves it. Um, that's a good thing for you to do is when you're listening to tweaks, um, instead of, I find that a lot of people will, I, I used to do this too, is you just listen to see if it works. You know, did anything happen? And then if you hear anything, you chalk it up as it worked and it's great and yeah, buy it. But um, you really need to stop and say, okay, let's assume they all work, okay? And they all do something. They all change the sound, every single one of them. Did it change the sound for the better? Did it make it more real? Did it make it more believable? That kind of thing. And um, I think this is a positive improvement. So um, I'll live with it and, 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 and we'll revisit this and see what the overall thing is. But I'll tell you right off the cuff, it seems like a positive improvement. Um, the neat thing about this is that it's an audio file switch. It's 395 bucks. So um, that is cool because most of the others are a lot more. Uh, and it's just a damn switch. So Anyways, this one is a Cisco switch and it's modified. So it's got a new clock and some uh, specific caps and different things are, are removed. And then, um, you know, RF treatment and things are done inside. So it's kind of tweaked version. And now what I'm going to do is go over there and plug in the dedicated linear power supply and see how that compares versus the 12 volt wall wart. So hang on a second and I'll be back. Okay. Um, we're back, and now what we've done is we've put in the, the Fidelizer's um, high, uh, the, the um, power supply. It's over here. Linear power supply. Low noise linear power supply. Dedicated rail for each uh, voltage. It's a two voltage, and there's, you know, basically two power supplies in there. So it doesn't, it doesn't share the rail with anything else. They, they don't share rails. Okay, so here we go. Let's listen. So, man, I heard something there, too. I think, um, yes, it's less, for sure. It was less than the first amount, but it seemed like a refinement anyways in the very beginning. It seemed, where I heard it the most was in the really light, the small little uh, macro type um, or micro type detail. Like the stuff before, even that little symbol that you hear at the beginning, there's these little, I don't know what it's, what do you call it, little noise. It's just not noise. It's actually, you know, something, an instrument. But um, so that that definitely did seem to improve things and we can try it. it. It probably has a cumulative effect if we then plug in the uh, streamer with that as well. And we're powering the streamer and the switch. That's the idea, um, except for what they've got. The, um, yeah, well, exactly. OK, so we would be using the other streamer. But anyways, um, OK, so I'm going to go and uh, try. I'm going to put the linear power supply on the streamer now and see how that does. OK, hold on. Okay, so now what I've done is plugged the streamer, the playback design streamer, into the uh, the linear power supply from Fidelizer, and uh, again, highfalutin power supply. I think that one is six ninety five. So let's uh, see what we got. Oh, oh, oh. 
drifted. I went past the time because I was I was spacing out, getting into the music. Um, yeah, smoother. Like, yeah, smoother. No, did you, did you feel something? Did you notice anything? Yeah. They're cumulative. They have a cumulative effect. Right. They're definitely, you know, they, they work together for sure. You can just tell it's just like you're taking care of little things. They're little things, but they are important things if you want to hear all the music. Because you know where I'm, I'm noticing it the most is in the very beginning of the tune where there's super small sounds and sonics that are happening. They're, you know, they're starting from zero and then they're slowly raising the, the, it up, them up. And so you hear them when they're just very minuscule little sounds. And I'm hearing deeper and deeper into that part in the beginning, which is where I'm noticing it the most, which is, uh, you know, you can hear, so you can hear it better in the little stuff, right? And that's always the best place to listen for noise. If you can hear the details revealed in that little area where there's the little low amplitude stuff, then, then you know you're on the right foot. So I'd say this is a positive piece too. Um, where can we go from here? Uh, try the other server. Yeah, is that what you point at? Yep, um, before we do that, let's try one other thing. What I'd like to do is try a VeraStar Ethernet cable from the Switch to the Playback Design streamer. I'd just like to see if that does, if that makes any difference. So, hold on. I'll be right back. So, are you, are you using this Fidelizer? Okay. Now I have pulled out the normal Ethernet cable. Like it's just standard, you know, regular, whatever Ethernet cable between the um, switch and the streamer. Oh, did I turn it back on? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, and so we replaced it with a, it went from a, just a regular run of the mill, nothing, you know, special, to um, this is an in acoustic. We're gonna try this one, and then we're gonna try the Vera Star. Here's the in acoustic first. Put in the Vera Star now. I'll be right back. Okay, now here we have the Vera Star Ethernet cable. What I heard was the top end smoothed top out. End. Smoothed out. Yeah. Because the other one was kind of just like, uh, there was something on the top that was a little like grainy or harsh or like um, it had a little something, a reflection or something in the top. There was something on the top in the last one that I didn't really like. You know, it just wasn't, it, it, it was just kind of aggravating. And this like smoothed it out. I thought yours has more air. Uh -huh. but the, uh, I think the other one may be a little bit quieter. But hmm. with that, I think it sounded like it was like Dolby and R was on. I see. So it was a little a little quieter and padded all the way. Through. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I know don't know. What you I mean, mean that's, I, that's what I. No, I heard that too. I, I heard that too. I think um, if you played them back to back again, you'd, you'd be yeah, more well, noticeable. 
We will. We can toggle. We'll toggle. Or we'll be able to toggle on the test. You should be able to just plug them all in and just swap them. Shouldn't matter if you've got multiple cables. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. It's so, really interesting, though. There's yeah. that big of a difference. Yeah. I know. Isn't that weird? I can't I stand it. I didn't expect it. Huh? I didn't expect it. Yeah. I, I should know better by now, but it's like, you know, everything, you'll hear audiophiles say again and again, everything, every little thing makes a difference. And it does. It does. Especially when you get into really world-class level um, gear, it's also resolving that um, you can make little teeny changes and you hear it, you know, and, and, and it's, it's funny because they, you know, they'll say, oh, well, that's the law of diminishing returns. You're going to hear little teeny changes when you spend in some decent amount of cash, but you know, it's like, those are, it's like fine tuning something. So it's like saying, well, you know, you've got a, you know, let's say a binocular or something like that. And you can, you can, you can focus, you know, to this even further degree and get even more tighter and focused in on something. All you have to do is buy this little, I don't know, key or whatever. And it'll allow you to access that extra focus on the binocular, you know, and you're not, you're going to want to just spend the dough anyways to get that extra Especially if your whole if you use that binocular for a crucial thing, you know, like listening to music. <laughs> um, so that's how I see the diminishing returns. It's like that's that's definitely where I want to be. I want to be well, well, well within diminishing returns because then that means that your your, your gear is your rig is so good that that, that very few things can change make it better. In other words, um, then you know you've got a good rig because there's nothing when 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 you put things in, they're making big changes. You know, meh. You might want to look at your rig a little bit, look at your room, look at something, because it shouldn't make just big, drastic changes. Um, or, you know, the mod or whoever's making the thing that does that big, heavy change, you know, it's it's just, it's too strong, you know, or something like that. But um, I'm getting off the off the, off the the subject here. Okay, so um, let's see if there's anything we want to try. We'll, we'll do that, but I want to see if there's anything we want to try in the current system that it's just, uh, yeah, I'm going to try one other thing. I'm just for shits and giggles. We're gonna, I'm going to put isolation underneath the streamer, and I'll be right back. So hold on. Okay, so now all I did was I took the little streamer down here, and I put it up on some isolation feet. These are, um, I don't even know what they're called, but they're like a sorbethane square with a wooden um, ball, like sphere. So we'll see if it does anything. Um, here we go. something to a little a little like um body a little more body yeah, yeah, yeah. the lower end seemed a little little, little tighter or something. yeah tighter yeah, yeah a little more weird yeah yep so yeah. it seems seems that there was an effect from those things um and uh y'all can listen back remember now you can you can toggle back and forth between these um the actual parts where the music are and and, and just avoid all my talking if you go up to the description where the time code i'll put time code in and you can just click those numbers, you know, and whenever you click on a number, it's going to go right immediately to that sound cut, that little cut, you know, of, of music. And, uh, and you can, you can, you can just on the fly toggle back and forth between two different things. If you want to see how they differ, um, it's a very handy tool, but, um, anyway, so that's in the description. You see the time code. Uh, hey, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm okay. So look, I wanted to do one thing before I wrap this, uh, this test up where we were just kind of, we, we just wanted to see what, what the linear power supply did to this 
to the sound, and it, it definitely helped. I mean, we could hear it. Um, we'll go into one later where I'll actually get down and we'll, we'll compare three of the linears, you know, against one another instead of like right, what we did right now, which was linear against the, you know, wall wart, which was, you know, an easy victory. Um, we also got results from isolation. We also got results from cables. So, um, but someone told me, one of my clients told me that he, they thought that the Ethernet cable was actually more significant than the switch itself. I thought that was peculiar. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play something right off the cuff. Okay, it's the same song we've been listening to, but I'm going to play it again because now you don't know this, but it's been two days since um, I taped that since, you know, what, a second ago <laughs> in your video, a couple seconds ago, was two days ago. I'm warping the time-space continuum right here in my Mikey pod. And uh, you guys are just along for the ride, so hold on. Um, but uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over there. Gonna, first, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go over there. I'm just going to play the song with all the same settings that we had two days ago. Um, I just want to play it again because it might be different. You know how things change some days and different days. It was a different time of the day, different temperature in the room, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm going to play the song, and then I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to pull out Right now, the, the, the switch is in and the VeraStar Ethernet cable, okay? Both of them are in there. Um, and it's on a line where it's just a, um, a straight run back to the router. So what I'm going to do is I'll pull the, the, um, the, the switch out and keep just the cable in. And let's see if, if, like he said, like it's the majority of it is the cable and not necessarily the switch. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Here we go. going to take out this switch and I'm going to put in keep the cable in there and see how that uh, sounds okay so we've got from here okay we're going straight over there with that puppy okay so from here we've got the switch see how the lights going okay I'm gonna unplug this and we are going to put plug it right into our feed where is that it's right here okay into our feed, and then we're going to see, and then we, we, we should put actually a Vera Star on both sides of that switch, because there was a, there was a nondescript on the other side, you know, so what, who can tell how that's ruining things, you know, using a regular old Ethernet cable on one side, um, because see, my thing terminates, my cable comes all the way from the router, it terminates in a female socket. So I have to put a little jumper from the female socket to the female input on the on the switch, and then on the other side I have to put one from the output of the router up to the to the um, streamer. And so I've only been doing one side. I did the the output side. I have not done the input side with the cable. So there's another thing to try. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what happened. See if we hear anything. No switch.
Okay, so for my little pea brain memory, um, it sounded like it was better with the switch. Um, but I don't know. I will listen to it back like you guys are doing right now. And I will check the time code and I will go back and forth and see how it sounds. We put the switch back in. And this time I put the highfalutin cables on either side. I put the Viristar on the output side of the, of the switch and the um, in acoustic on the uh, input side of the switch. Ultimately, we'll have it all Viristar because I like the sound of the Viristar best um, for obvious reasons. Because I made it. No, but really, I mean, you guys, you guys listen too. And, um, you know, it's, everybody's got their own taste. I like open, airy, clear like like no restriction i don't like it sounding tamped down or restrained at all i like it just to be wide open um and just do what it does and effortless so let's listen now and now we put the switch back in and we put in we put in um, another an additional uh, good cable so here we go I think I've had it with that song, and um, I think it was clear that it was definitely better with the switch. Um, that was that was uh, lower noise, better uh, solid bass, um, cleaner vocal. Um, I just liked it all around better. So I'm keeping the switch in there. Okay. Um, um, I think that's all we're going to do for this section. Otherwise, it's going to be too long and strong. And um, I got to. Uh, I want to do another test. We're done with this one. We did our little meandering and stuff, okay? So here's my take on, on what we did today. Here's my take, okay? Ethernet cable absolutely makes a difference, okay? Um, should you buy an Ethernet cable? Um, yes, I think it's a good idea, especially if you're going to put a switch nearby your rig so that you can have a short little, you know, uh, whereby the switch filters your, your Ethernet um, and, and cleans it up, and then you run a good cable from the output side of the um, of the switch up to your you know server and just do it that way and then then you've got your supply figured out on that on that realm okay there's some other ways to do things and stuff but I've heard that comparing between the um, the optical glass cable or whatever the optical cable that goes you know that um, someone's doing the um, Rendu guys um, I've heard that it's really once you get a switch in there that, that cleans it up it really doesn't matter if you run it over to the switch using glass or light or if you run it over to the switch using metal and it's dirty by the time it gets there because it's going to clean it up and it just doesn't matter um, so um, that's the take we're listening to it now it sounds pretty damn good and it's uh it's not optical uh, glass running over here it's all metal so um presumably you know we get noise on the way over and then we clean it off with the hub and uh or, i mean the um the, the 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 um switch and then we put it right up to uh to the streamer down there um uh, okay so i think that wraps it up for us